Hey there guys, Stuart Donaldson here. I'm a martial arts instructor, exercise physiologist, child development authority, and just like you, I'm a parent too who wants to set my kids up for success in life. And today we're talking about how does martial arts help kids become fit and healthy. Now it's currently 2021, and in Australia, one in four Australian kids is overweight and one in 12 is obese. And there can be no doubting that the change in society is impacting and increasing those numbers. In fact, two out of every three adults is overweight or obese. And as an exercise physiologist with a passion for health and fitness and, ex and exercise, that's really alarming for me. And in my opinion, there's no doubt that the increase in availability, access to and requirement for using electronic devices, phones and iPads and computers is impacting that. And in fact, according to the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, in 2017-18, young people in the 15 to 24 years age bracket were much more likely to be overweight and obese compared to that same age bracket back in 2007-8, and which is increased again compared to back in 1995. So you can see over the last uh, 15 to 25 years that that problem is getting worse. And I really don't think that it's gonna get better in a hurry unless some major things change. Now participation in martial arts isn't just about making healthy kids, it's about getting them enthusiastic and passionate for health and exercise and a generally healthy lifestyle that hopefully will carry forward into their teenage and adulthood. Now obviously martial arts is a lot about the physical exercise, whether that be running push-ups, pull-ups, uh, sit-ups, all the, you know, the, the getting active and the, the sweating that goes along with that, but there's more to it as well, and that's about training a, a healthy mindset. As an exercise physiologist in my career, I've worked with all sorts of people with various injuries and medical conditions such as heart disease and, and diabetes and, and so on, uh, and it's my, my passion as an exercise physiologist and a martial arts instructor that I can impact these kids before they ever get to that stage, and if we can prevent those diseases becoming prevalent in society, it's gonna be so much better for everyone. Now martial arts helps build strength. Uh, kids, again, kids these days, makes me sound old when I say that, but they're much more likely to be inside on their iPads or watching TV than they are to be outside. Uh, and I know even my generation, probably less active than you know the generations before. I can remember when I was a kid playing backyard cricket, soccer, footy with my brother for hours and hours and hours on end, uh, and we only got to play on the PlayStation, you know, basically after school on Friday and for the weekend. So we're really encouraged to be physically active, and I think the parents these days, or a lot of parents, just don't have that interest or passion in in exercise or health or activity simply uh, than some others do. But because of this, because the kids aren't as active, their bodies aren't resilient, and they are more prone to injury, forget about the heart disease and the diabetes, they're just not robust. They're gonna trip over and fall and break their ankle or their hip just because their bodies and their muscles aren't strong enough to withstand that impact. And, and through martial arts, gradually, we're able to toughen them up to be able to you know, get kicked, get punched, get hit, fall down, get back up without it actually being a major concern. In fact, peak bone development occurs during adolescence and the jumping, kicking, running and impact activities that we do at martial arts during this time can really help lay a good foundation for people when they're older in their 60s, 70s and 80s that can help prevent fractures and osteoporosis and, and those sorts of conditions. So being active in that uh, you know, early teen period is absolutely vital for bone health as you get older. Now martial arts teaches kids good habits as well, whether that be good habits of exercising regularly, but also the habits of brushing teeth and flossing and eating healthily and drinking plenty of water and not guzzling gallons of Coca-Cola uh, and eating you know, fast food and, and all of that sort of stuff is teaching them to be generous to their, to their internal part of their body as well, which again we know plays such an important role in overall health. So hopefully that the kids can, if the parents perhaps aren't as healthy, can, the kids can say, hey, I don't want blah, unhealthy option, I'd rather have blah, this healthy option. Uh, or even make the decision of actually, I'll settle at one biscuit instead of eating two, or, or whatever the case may be, making healthy choices. Now super quick before I move into the next tip, just make sure you hit the subscribe button below, that way that you can be notified whenever I have any new videos coming out, and we can continue this conversation about how martial arts help set kids up for success in life, and can help you as an adult and a parent as well. 
Martial arts helps build mental strength. Now I know that there's a lot to be said for the biological impact of this and that people with uh, parents who have you know depression and anxiety and all that, the kids are much more likely to have those conditions and that's fine and I definitely believe that. But if we can teach kids to be more mentally resilient, mentally tougher, and you know, accept that life isn't gonna be easy, hopefully we can prevent some of those conditions from developing or getting worse later in their life. Now, we're just coming off the backside of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's currently early 2021, uh, and there's been, it's been well reported in the news the impact that the pandemic has had on people's mental health. And my hope is that by building more resilient kids, should something happen like this in future, and it might not be as bad as the COVID-19 situation, but something's gonna happen. There's always gonna be a war or a financial crisis or a disease of some sort. And if we can teach kids to be resilient and to seek solutions and to get through it, the world's gonna be a much better place. And there's no studies, I'm sure, but from anecdotal knowledge, it is proven that kids who do martial arts have better focus, perseverance, resilience, better habits, and a better attitude compared to kids that don't. Make sure you check out my other videos that I'll chuck links up on the screen for, where I go into a bit more detail about those factors. Now lastly, martial arts makes kids have better self-belief, self-esteem, and confidence. Kids that achieve success in martial arts are much more likely to achieve success in other areas of their life, whether that be academically, physically, or in the arts, for example, or even in their jobs and their careers later on. By progressing through the rank system that exists in martial arts, it helps instill in kids that constant uh, ability to seek improvement and to see a reward for their actions. Now, I'm not talking about passing kids through ranks when they don't deserve it. That's not on, absolutely not at all. But when they do achieve that success, it really instills within themselves that, that sense of achievement, and that can be a really good driving factor to, to put them on a good trajectory later in life. And also, achieving that success can help them to push themselves out of their comfort zone that little bit more to, to seek success. They know how good it feels, and they're gonna be much more likely to go in search of it in future. I've been a martial arts instructor for over six years now, and I've helped hundreds of kids with the physical and the mental skills of martial arts, and instill in them the attitude and the belief in what it takes to become a black belt. And the point of this channel is to pass that information on to you to help your child get set up for success in life, and as a result, make sure that you, as a parent, have a better life. If you want to get the real deal though, you do need to actually get into some martial arts training. We'd love to see you at one of our locations. You can check the link below in the description or any location that's close to you to help get you on that black belt journey. Make sure you hit subscribe uh, and that way anytime I've got new videos coming out, you can stay tuned for other tips and hints on how martial arts can improve your life. So there you go guys, that's a topic I am absolutely super passionate about is making the whole world a healthier place, but particularly if we can impact you know, kids and, and the young people, uh, we can change the tide of that obesity epidemic moving forward you know, over the next 10, 20, 50 years. Hopefully, that's my goal. So there you go, that's my thoughts on how martial arts helps kids be fit and healthy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you uh, about different ways that we can you know, impact kids uh, and lead them towards a healthier life. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, that way when I've got new videos coming out, we can stay in touch and continue the conversation. Um, but for now guys, that's it. Take care, much respect.